Microalgae are aquatic single-celled organisms that are able to obtain their energy from photosynthesis. With the help of light energy and carbon dioxide from the environment, microalgae can grow and create complex organic molecules such as proteins, omega fatty acids and others. This way they also contribute to the production of oxygen. Microalgae are an alternative and sustainable raw material for use in human food, animal feed, nutraceuticals and for the production of bio-based chemicals. The research of RADIUS mainly focuses on microalgae that are adapted to the climate in Northwestern Europe. How can we optimize the ingredients? Are these algae useful for the remediation of wastewater? Can we predict the growth of certain algae based on our collected data? These are all questions to which we try to formulate an answer. Microalgae are grown in a fresh or salt growth medium that contains necessary elements such as nitrogen, phosphorus and trace elements including iron, copper and zinc. In our cultivation chamber the temperature is kept constant and the algae are aerated. When sufficient biomass is grown on a laboratory scale, the biomass is transferred to our pilot reactors in the greenhouse. Our pilot installation Synbuild consists of four closed photobioreactors that are designed according to a fruit tree model so that the illumination of each tube is optimal. Air and carbon dioxide are blown into the reactor by using a pump which also creates a wave in the reactor. This wave action ensures that the gas exchange in the reactor is optimal, the algae are well mixed and the deposits on the tubes are limited. Various sensors have been built into the reactor that collect data about the growth conditions of the algae such as the pH, turbidity, carbon dioxide consumption, etc. The climate in the greenhouse is also closely monitored and controlled. The nutrients are prepared in stock vessels with the help of liquid fertilizer that are common in horticulture. The algae are inoculated in the reactor vessel and can now continue to grow until the desired density is reached. Samples are taken at regular intervals during the cultivation. These samples are examined in the lab to monitor the concentration of nutrients in the medium and to check the culture for the presence of contamination. The dry weight is also monitored through sampling. The algae are harvested using a centrifuge that reduces the concentration of water in the biomass to about 10 to 30 percent. The algae paste is then further dried using a freeze dryer to obtain algae powder. Radius conducts research on medium circulation in close collaboration with Vito so that water and nutrients can be reused and the algae story becomes even more sustainable. Microalgae do not compete with agricultural land and show a higher productivity than agricultural crops. Many microalgae thrive in a medium with a high salinity such as seawater, which is abundantly present. By using side streams such as heat surpluses and carbon dioxide and the recirculation of the water use, radius can contribute to a circular economy with the cultivation of microalgae in which the ecological footprint was kept as small as possible. <laughs>